Sonic, would you like to be my friend? <sighs> Peppa cannot wait to tell everyone her news. Mummy, Daddy, George! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> I'm so excited. Why is that, Peppa? I'm going to meet my new friend. A new friend? Yes. <gasps> and who might this new friend be? I don't know. They're new, silly. <laughs> I'm going to show them Snowy Mountain, the beach, everything. Even Potato City! Peppa is excited to play with her new friend and explore all the brilliant places in her world. That's a good idea, Peppa. Yes, Daddy. It's going to be so much fun. So when is your new friend coming to play, Peppa? Very soon. I can't wait to play with them. Dinosaur! It looks like Mr. Dinosaur wants to play with Peppa's new friend, too. <laughs> Welcome to Peppa Pig's Town. You'll have a lot of fun here. We're going to meet Peppa in a moment, but first, let's try walking. Use the stick to move around. What a nice flower. Why don't you get close to it? Now press a button to touch it. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. The butterfly is flying away. Let's follow it. What's that? There's a fence blocking the way. Not to worry. You can use the same button to open the gate. Sometimes you will need to move things out of the way to keep going. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. Oh, hello! Welcome to the town! Where are you going, little one? To talk to Miss Rabbit, Walk up to her and press the action button. Are you going to see Peppa? She's just up the hill. Keep walking and you'll be there in a minute. Bye now. Well done. You've learned how to move around. Friend Peppa Pig. A new friend has come to visit Peppa. How exciting! <laughs> <laughs> oh, goody, you're here! Welcome. We're going to have a lovely time. You're here, you're here. We're going to have the best day ever. My daddy. Why don't we say hello to him? Hello, Peppa. I see you have a new friend. My room. Do you like it? I have lots of toys in the basket. Hello there. What are you two up to in here? Mummy, Mummy! We're playing with the toys in my basket. I think George would like to play with you too. In 
possible. George, I'm busy with my new friend. Oh. Peppa, I'm sure you can all play together, the three of you. Why don't you play tag? How do you play tag? You have to chase each other, and when you catch someone, they're it. OK. You're it. <laughs> OK, then. I'll leave you to it. Go visit my granny and grandpa. The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. Back home. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Peppa and her friends. Hello everyone, this is my new friend. Hello! What a lovely drawing! Why don't you take it and hang it in Peppa's house? Lovely! It will look great on Peppa's wall. Children, today is a very special day. Do you know what day it is? Is it your birthday? No, it's not my birthday, Danny. Anyone else want to guess? How about you? Good guess. Today is sports day. Whoa! What is sports day? Sports day is a very important day. Everyone must do sports today so we can all stay healthy. Let's go to the running track. Ooh! All right, children, start running on my count. Three, two, one, go! Children! Very good, Peppa. And your friend is very fast. One last effort, children. You're almost at the finish line. You all did a very good job. You all deserve a trophy today, don't you think, Peppa? Susie?
Pedro? And you too, of course. Splendid! I hope we all learned about the importance of sports today. But can we still run if it's not sports day? Oh, of course! You can always run. Running is fun! <laughs> <laughs> Tree is saying hello to us. Hello, Mr. Tree. Please don't say hello, silly. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Tiddles the tortoise? What's he doing up the tree? We need to get him down. Dr. Hamster will be so worried that he's missing. Yes, but how do we do that? It's too high up. Let's get Madame Gazelle. She'll know what to do. Madame Gazelle will know what to do to get Tiddles the tortoise back down from the tree. Let's find her in the classroom. We need to do something. Hang on, Tiddles. We're going to get you down in no time. Oh, impossible. It's too high for me. Peppa, why don't you and your friend go and find me a ladder so I can climb up the tree and rescue Tiddles? There's a ladder right outside the playgroup. Help Peppa find the ladder so Madame Gazelle can use it to get Tiddles down. Let's go this way. Let's ask Madame. Here it is. This is the ladder Madame Gazelle was talking about. You found it. Good job. you are, Tiddles. Let's get you down, shall we? There you go, Tiddles. No more climbing today. Hooray! I'll call Dr. Hamster and tell her Tiddles is safe. Thank you all. You did a wonderful job. Now, let's make sure Tiddles doesn't climb up again. Tiddles? Gone again! Oh, Tiddles! <laughs> <laughs> Good job! Now Tiddles is safe and everyone is having a great time. Yay! 
I see you and your friend are already here. Ah, Peppa! I see you and your friend are already here. Three, two, one. Splendid! Now we go from big to small. Two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Why don't you try it again? One, two, three. This goes from small to big. Very good. Ah, Peppa. I see you and your friend are already here. We can play with our friends. Or we can talk to Madame Gazelle. Ah, Peppa. I see you and your friend are already here. What a lovely drawing! Why don't you take it and hang it in Pepper's house? Peppa's house. Back home. This is my daddy. Why don't we say hello to him? Hello, Peppa. I see you have a new friend. Did you enjoy Sports Day with the playgroup? I heard you were great in the race. <coughs> What's the matter, George? Why are you crying? Dinosaur. <coughs> Dinosaur. What's that, George? You've lost Mr. Dinosaur. Don't worry. I'm sure it hasn't gone far. Could you have left it outside? George and Pepper need your help to find Mr. Dinosaur. He must be somewhere nearby. We will find it! We're good at finding things! Let's go this way. Mr. Potato! Do you like Mr. Potato? Pepper does. Let's go this way. I can see it. It's stuck in that tree next to the muddy puddle. Let's see if we can get it down. It seems that Mr. Dinosaur is very high up in the tree. Perhaps they could use the help of someone taller. Parents' house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is 
always in his garden and Granny takes care of the chickens. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? Oh no! Polly's food bowl is empty! She must be pretty hungry. Why don't we go and get some food so we can fill the bowl? Mrs Chicken, what are you doing here? Good to see you, Peppa. Ah, I see you've brought a friend. Hello, have you seen a chicken around here? Yes, Granny, she just left. Oh my, that won't do at all. Peppa, can you and your friend help me find the missing chickens? I don't think they will have gone very far. Yes, yes, Granny. We will find them. It seems Granny's chickens have left their coop. Why don't you help her by bringing all of the chickens back? <laughs> we told Granny we would help her. Are you sure you want to leave? Only two more chickens left. There's still one chicken missing. the last one. All of the chickens are safe and sound now, thanks to you. Yuck! Grandpa, what is this for? Oh, that is called compost. It's a special muck that I use to fertilize the veggies. Be careful, though. It's very smelly. What does fertilize mean, Grandpa? It means it will help them grow bigger and be even more delicious. Why don't you try putting some in this patch of land? Ho ho! Great job! Now the plants 
will grow strong and tall. Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm planting seeds so that new plants will grow in the garden. Do you want to help me? Yes, please. What do we have to do? Well, for starters, pick one of the plants in the garden and grab a seed from it. Any plant? Yes, Peppa. Whichever you prefer. Ooh, but I don't know which one to pick. I know. Why don't you help me pick? Help Pepper and Grandpa grow a new plant in the garden. Go to one of the plants and pick up a seed. Did you grab a seed? Well done! Now come back and plant it here. First, make a little hole. In. Cover it with earth and water it. Fantastic! Now a new plant will grow here. Will it take a long time, Grandpa? Oh, yes. Plants grow very slowly. Make sure to come back every once in a while to see how much the plant has grown. Good job. You have planted a new seed in Grandpa's garden. Make sure to come back here every once in a while to see the plants grow. We have arrived. But, Grandpa, Granny, where is all the sand? Well, this is a rocky beach. So instead of sand, it's full of rocks. Oh, we wanted to build sand castles. What are we going to do? Don't worry. There are plenty of fun things to do on this rocky beach. If you look around, you will find pools of water between the rocks. It's fun to see what's in them. That's right. When the sea goes out, it always leaves behind something special in the rock pools. Lily, what kind of things are we going to find? Why don't you and your friend have a look in the rock pools and put what you find in the bucket? Take a look in the rock pools on the beach and show Granny and Grandpa Pig the things you find. Look, I have found something very shiny. It's a coin. Perhaps it once belonged to a pirate. Whoa! I love pirates. found a crab in the rock pool. Crabs love to hide in rock pools. Be careful not to get your finger pinched. Oh, no. Don't be a naughty crab. <gasps> a seashell! And it's a really big one. Did you know that if you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea? Really? Whoa! Congratulations! You have found all the things in the rock pools and have learned a lot about rocky beaches.
grandparents' house. This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Hello there. You two seem to be having loads of fun together. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. Snowy Mountain! The ski lift looks fun. Oh, we could ice skate. That's fun too. Give us skis to go down the mountain. Ooh, a snowman! I love snowmen. We should build one ourselves. Pepper wants to build a snowman. You will find all the parts you need in the snow. The best snowman ever! We did it! Hooray! <laughs> yeah. I think these will be good for you. Be careful! Don't go down the hill too fast. Have fun!
I'm right behind you. <laughs> if you get too cold, this rabbit will take us back in the balloon. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. The forest! Ooh! A butterfly! It's so pretty! Let's follow it! Oh my, there's rubbish everywhere. Perhaps you should help Pepper clean the forest. Oh no, there's rubbish on the ground. We should put it in the rubbish bin. Got one. Well done. If we all do our part, it's easy to keep the forest clean. Whose tracks are these? If we follow them, we'll find out. It is. Could it be a bird? Wow! Ants! <laughs> Did you guess the animal? What a lovely spot for camping! Ah, Peppa, I see you and your friend are already here. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa's, Peppa's friend. friend. Hello, everybody. Children, children, now that we're here, you need to pitch your tents. And we need someone to collect sticks for the campfire. We'll do it, Madame Gazelle. We'll collect the sticks. Madame Gazelle has asked you to collect sticks so she can build a campfire. Follow Pepper and help her get enough sticks for the campfire. Sticks, sticks, sticks. We need to collect lots of sticks.
got one. I need a few more sticks. Would you get them for me? Should be enough. Let's get back to Madame Gazelle. Oh, excellent job. Now, why don't you pitch your tent while I prepare the campfire? Get around, children. Who wants to hear a song? Me! 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 me. me. Okay, then. Ooh. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong. A bing. Bobbing moo. Bing bong bing. Bing bong bingly bongly boo. Bobbing moo. Bing bong bing. Bing bong bingly bongly boo. <laughs> Bobbing moo. Bing bong bing. Bing bong bingly bongly boo. Bobbing moo. Mummy and Daddy Pig and George have come to have a lovely picnic in the forest. <laughs> what a wonderful day to have a picnic in the forest. Come on, let's find a nice spot to sit down and have lunch. How about we go that way? This place seems about right, doesn't it? Can I have the basket, Daddy Pig? Oh, um, yes, of course. What's wrong, Daddy Pig? Your face has gone very red. I, um, I think I have left the picnic basket in the car. Oh, no. We will have to go and get it then. Perhaps you and Peppa could head back to the car and bring the basket. Of course, Mummy. We'll be back in no time. Daddy Pig has left the picnic basket in the car. They need you to go back and get it for them. Let's go back to the car and get the picnic basket. Thank you, you two. Let's all take a seat now. Oops! I guess I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Good job! You brought the picnic basket back. And now Peppa's family can enjoy a delicious lunch in the forest. This goes here, this goes there, and voila! <laughs> These sandwiches are delicious, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Why, thank you. How about you? Do you like them? What was that? Ducks! What are you doing here? Are you hungry too? <coughs> Mummy, can we give them some food? We could, but it seems there's only Daddy's sandwich left. Oh. Daddy, Daddy, we have to give them some food. Oh, all right. There you go, ducks. I'm full. Well, at least someone is. 
<laughs> oh, Daddy, you're always a bit full. Pepper's house. Back home. Ah, there you are. Pepper, we're taking you and your friends to Windy Castle. Windy Castle has a very tall tower. We'll get a view of the whole town. You'll see. Hooray! Dinosaur! No, George, I'm afraid there are no dinosaurs up there. Dinosaur! But you can take Mr. Dinosaur with you. Dinosaur! All right, then. Why don't you two go and wait for us in the car while we finish getting ready? Yes, Daddy! We'll go there right away. Let's go to the car. Daddy will drive us to Windy Castle. Windy Castle! You have arrived with Pepper and her family at Windy Castle. Wow! I've never seen such a big castle. Come on, let's go inside. The view from the top is amazing. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through the telescope makes everything seem closer. Why don't you take some time to look around? Do you recognize this? It's our house. Oh, yes, Daddy. I can see my bedroom window from here. That looks like Granny and Grandpa's house. And look, <gasps> Granny and Grandpa are outside. Do you think they can see us? <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. We're very far away from them. Oh, today would be a perfect day to go to the beach. Look, look! I can see Miss Rabbit in her hot air balloon. She must be waiting to take someone to Snowy Mountain. Museum Dinosaur. <laughs> and there's Snowy Mountain. The view is fantastic. But it seems to be very cold up there. The playgroup. No one's there though, because it's not playgroup time. Potato City. Can we go, Mummy, please? Of course. Not now, though. We're enjoying Windy Castle today. Mummy! Daddy! Can we come back to Windy Castle soon? Of course, Pepper. I'm glad you had a good time looking through the telescope. I knew you would love it. 
Windy Castle is a lot of fun. Using the telescope from the top, you can spot many places, even some that are very far away. Pepper's house. Back home. <laughs> Standing still is boring. Let's go somewhere. I wonder if Daddy needs help in the kitchen. Hmm. 